Welcome guys, welcome guys to the Bible show, we'll be doing the Bible show again today, so give me a second. I'm using another microphone cause uh, the other one got tore up, so it's okay, I got more, not stupid, I use a lot, so uh, I use a lot of uh, different kind of headphones to talk to the mic and stuff, and it gets easier as it goes. So we get we go now we're gonna be studying and what we stopped at on page uh one were of Genesis. Okay, y'all there? Not again. Dang it. Ugh. It didn't fall. Where's the piece? Can't get it. There we go. There we go. Okay. Do. 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 And let's see. It is long enough for me. Kind of, kind of thing. Just do it. Good morning. <coughs> Sorry guys, oh, don't you dare. Sorry guys, I'm trying to get this on my, my mouth. Huh. I'm trouble, guys. Stopped on. Hold on. 
Sully's thoughts on, um, uh, page, on well, the first page. Again, again, it says, and uh, we stopped on what, there we go, let's see. We stopped on 15. Then God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day, and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. God set them in the firmament, firmament of the heavens, of the heavens, of the heavens. <coughs> where they go, where they go. To give light on the earth. To give light on the earth. To and to rule over the day and over the night. To and to divide the light from the darkness. And God saw that God saw that it was good. So the evening and the morning were the fourth day. Then God said, Let the waters abound with the abundance of dense of living creatures, and let birds fly above the above the above the earth, across the face of the firmament of the heavens. So God created sea great sea creatures and every living thing that moves, and with what with which the waters abounded according to their kind and every winged bird according to its kind and God saw that it was good and God blessed them saying be fruitful and multiply the waters in the seas and let the birds multiply on the earth so the evening and the morning were the fifth, were the fifth day then God said let the earth bring forth the living creature according to its, to its kind cattle and creeping things Creeping thing. Talking to D. Alright. So the evening and the morning was the fifth day. Then God said, Let the earth bring forth the living creature of it to of it to its kind, according to its kind, cattle and creeping thing and beast of the earth, each according to its kind. And it was so, and God made the beast of the earth according to its kind, cattle according to its kind, and everything that creeps on the earth according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. <laughs> then God said, Let us make man in our image according to our likeness, let them have domination over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle of the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image, in the, God, in the image of God he created him. Male and female he created them. Okay. One question. Why did God create create female and male and female? And then a little bit of thing. Just guess that answer and answer down below. Answer down below. So okay, we're done with our bubble study tonight. See y'all later in the next bubble study.